Hey, good morning, Jerry Upchurch here. Just wanted to get a quick note out to you on possibilities. You know, think about possibilities. There's a term possibility factor. I read in a book the other day and it really talked about trade-offs, thinking about things that you, decisions that you've made in your past and how they have affected you in your present. Uh, for instance, uh, we, we always are making decisions. Uh, say you went, well, had a choice to uh, finish high school or to quit, you would choose to finish high school. Uh, when it came time to go to college, you decided to go to college or get a job. That's a decision you make. When you finish college, you make a decision to take the job that pays the most money or the one that gives you the most pleasure in your work. All these things are choices that we've made in the past. Kind of reminds me when I was in the 12th grade, I remember this and I've thought about it so many times, is that my 12th grade English teacher, brilliant lady, uh, had been around a long time. She was pretty old when she taught us, but she asked a question in class just like a week or two before graduation. She said, I want you to write a little essay on, on uh, whether you want a life of security or do you want a life of significance? Now, she didn't use the word significance, she used some other word, but it was similar to that. Do you want a life of security or do you want a life of uh, adventure? Uh, she was trying to get us to think about more than just a security, but that growing up in a family that uh, came out of the Depression era when everything had to be uh, scrimped and saved and had to be really thrifty in everything you did. My parents encouraged me over and over to be get a get a good job, get a good education, get a good job, stay with that company a long time, make sure it's a good company, and and retire, and, and then you'll have a comfortable income in your later years. So you know we've all heard that. We've heard that, and our parents at my age, uh, our parents always wanted us to have security in our life. So, so that's what I did. I went to school, I got a good job, I got a good education. I uh, spent four years in the military and uh, it wasn't until I had been working 15 years or so that I began to question the decision that I had made. Uh, security versus uh, adventure and, and that started popping in my mind as I, at, at the time when people started approaching me, asking me about uh, network marketing business. And I, I would say, no, no, I don't want anything to do with that. And eventually I went to one of their meetings and heard what they had to say. And they were talking about dreams and visions and goals and things that I had never really thought about. So I began to dwell on those things. Uh, what if I missed out on by not taking advantage of a part-time opportunity to do uh, better with my finances. Oh, I was doing okay. I was doing um, real well for, for what I had done, but I kept being promoted in my job, which is not bad, but I, I got my degree in mathematics and computer science, and I was a programmer, and I really enjoyed the programming part of it. But as I got promoted, I moved out of that to where I didn't didn't do any programming. I was all it was all management and budgeting and and projecting and that sort of thing. So it wasn't nearly as much fun uh, trying to get people to do things that needed to be done as opposed to uh, just doing them myself. And that was my personality. So you relate that to your network marketing business. You say, okay, I don't want to be a manager. I want to be a leader. And we've talked uh, in in videos before that to be a leader you need to be you need to have been a good follower but the ideal thing or the thing that we're talking about today is is what do you want to accomplish in your life think about sit down and think about don't wait till later years in your life think about what you want in life and can you get it doing what you're doing today what I want you to do is think about your uh, spiritual life your financial life, your health, your mental emotional, and and yes, even your relationships that you have today. Think about those things. Are they where you want them to be? If not, choose something 
to start doing now that will build you and encourage you in each of those areas of your life. I won't go on and on. The first time I made this video, it was nine, almost ten minutes. So what I wanted to do is get you to think about what you want to do. It's never too late. Think about what you want to do. Read my blog. I've got a lot more details in my blog about what we're, what I'm encouraging you to do. But think about the choices you've made, the possibilities of where you would be now had you made different choices, uh, the relationships that you might have, the finances you might have, the mental and emotional state, which should always be uh, one of the first things you're thinking about is staying healthy mentally and emotionally. So think about those things and uh, click on the blog below, read, read the blog and just think. Think about the possibilities that are available to you right now and what a simple decision to work one of these possibilities in your life, how would it change your life, how would it affect your future, how would it affect your very present future. But click on the blog. Hey, be blessed.